Hi there, this is Meet the Tutor, and in today's episode, I'm going to explain about a few of the idioms. As a whole, I have got five idioms here, and let's know what idioms are. Idioms are a part of English language which give a kind of hidden meaning in them. They can be a sentence in itself, or they can be a part of the sentence as well. So let's look at the very first idiom. It says, "Don't cry over the spilt milk." It simply tries to convey the message that it is what it is. It means to say that whatever has happened, let it happen because you have got no control over it. So don't cry over the spilt milk because you're not going to collect the milk once again back in your bowel. Idiom number two: a big fish in a small pond. It means to say that the pond is smaller. Your working environment, your scenario, it has got very limited scope. But you are a big fish. You have got lots of expertise. You have got wisdom, knowledge, talent, everything which you can manipulate together. But the thing is that your scenario doesn't have the sufficient amount of resources to facilitate you. That's why you're not getting the chance to expand your horizon. Item three is not rocket science. It's not hard. Why do you take it in such a complicated manner? It's not that hard. It's not rocket science that it has to go with certain fixed formula in order to solve or get the solution. It's not rocket science. Okay, like if my friend comes to me saying that he has got like he's almost broke, he has got no money, and then he's having difficulty in survival for his livelihood, then I would say like it's not rocket science. Don't worry. The situation is not that hard. There must be a kind of solution for it. It's not rocket science. Idiom four: Under the weather. Under the weather, it means to say that the weather is not fine. That means you are sick or something like that. You are tired. I can say like, after working for 95 in my office today, I'm a bit under the weather. That means to say that I need to take some break. I'm sick. So finally, the very last idiom that pulls someone's leg. It gives the meaning of making joke on someone's expense. You're trying to fool someone, uh, crack a joke about somebody or someone there. So, guys, that's everything for today's lesson. I hope you guys learned five of the common idioms that we can use in our practical life. And if you like the content, please subscribe the channel. Stay tuned. Cheers.